I mean, it's, it's the biggest game every year for us, uh, for our, our players, but especially for our people, our, our nation. Um, it's a game we've played uh, the most regularly, 150 years um, this year, uh, from the, the first time we played them. And we played for a trophy. So it, it, it is the biggest game, whatever it comes in the, the calendar. Com coming first um, means that the, the focus as we go into next week will be really sharp. Uh, we're playing one of the best teams in the world, a team that's won last year Six Nations. So, yeah, wh why not have it as a first game? Um, you you want to take on each of these challenges we get, and there's there's no bigger than England away. Uh, so, it means that we'll we'll up our uh, our edge even more next week at training, and and really and and the realization that we have to play our best to win for us. As Gregor touched on, it's a massive game for, for everybody involved in Scottish rugby and Scotland as a nation. So we're excited. It's not often you get two weeks prep going into an international game. So we're excited about the challenge of going down to Twickenham and, and, and playing, as Gregor said, one of the best teams in the world. That um, You give them time and space, they're going to be dangerous. Uh, if you get in their face and make it confrontational, then it makes it for a, a tasty encounter. So we're excited for it. We're massively excited for it. Um, and as I say, we've got a good couple of weeks prep now to to make sure we're in the best place possible to to go down to Twickenham and uh, and pick up a win. The focus for every single professional rugby player, we want to be in a position to to win Test matches, to win trophies, um, and everybody will be the exact same. You know, us as a Scotland team, we are very much concentrating on um, you know the England game, but we, we'd love to be in a position to to pick up trophies and. Uh, we're going to work incredibly hard over the next few weeks to make sure we're we're in a great position. Yeah, it's it's a it's a tough one for the opener, isn't it? Um, team that won last year's Six Nations and the Autumn Nations Cup um, on their own patch, uh, but it focuses our minds. Uh, we know we'll have to be at our best uh, to be in a position to win that game, uh, and we've also got to look at how we improve from our last campaign, improve from the Six Nations, but also improve from when we were together in autumn. Uh, and that's that's all you do, you want to do. You want to go through that process of of working out how we can get better and how we can beat England uh, a week on Saturday. This week's about us embedding um, our game, no matter who we play against, and just getting back to our principles, attack, defence, um, getting the connections with with each with the team. Next week we will obviously address the strengths that England bring, maybe areas that we we think that we can put them under pressure. Uh, but who who knows what what England are going to bring this um, this championship? Uh, they they may change their game. They may they may stick to what's worked for them. But what we do know is that they'll be strong. Um, they're always uh, they always get the detail right around their set piece, their defence, um, their attack execution, their kicking game. So that's what makes them such a good team. So tough to beat, uh, and we'll just have to to bring our best game to to be able to do that. We want to improve. Um, each time we come together, so obviously improvement um, from last year's Six Nations uh, and improvement from the, the autumn campaign. Uh, and we know that you, you get new challenges uh, when you come together uh, each time with the opposition and with various things you have to adapt to. But we, we've been really pleased with the progress throughout 2020. Um, a lot of players have got to play international rugby as well, so they're they're more prepared, ready for this huge tournament that we play in every year. Uh, so yeah, um, the the focus will be on improvement and our next game. Our next game's um, up against a team that won the tournament a year ago, so it's it's a big one for us. Uh, and then we'll move on to to Wales the following week. The win gives you so much confidence as you go on to the next week's game. Uh, I, I was very proud of the team last year and that we came very close to winning our first two games and in normal circumstances that would put you on a downer or or maybe um, change the focus for the, the remaining games but our players kept at it um, stayed in the fight uh, in the next few games and, and then delivered uh, an away win um, out in Italy and then a very good home win against France so that, that mindset, that consistency that we showed last year will be really important this year but I, I do agree with you. Momentum will help. Um, and looking at those first two games as well, that's that's a block that we're together. Um, getting some, something out of both games will be really important. In terms of after kind of first caps, I think everything's a little bit different nowadays, but um, 
we're just making sure that they settle in at the the quickest um, the quickest chance they've got, uh, and making sure they're comfy in their surroundings. Uh, but we also want them here uh, to express themselves and and enjoy themselves and to understand that they're here for a reason. They're here because they're good enough, um, and we want them to to show their class. So you know, I myself and the rest of the the senior boys are are very much looking forward to having them in, uh, and we're excited to see what they can do on the international stage. We're looking for, for him to bring um, his own strengths, uh, his own way of, of looking at the game and and playing. Uh, he's a he's a very much a heads up attacker. Uh, he's got a skill set to go alongside um, really good decisions, but he's a competitive defender too. So we want we want to see um, those strengths come out with us. But within our camp, um, it's about how much he can build connections with the guys around him, um, players that he won't have played alongside before, and also just getting into our way of playing. So we've had two two days of training where he's fitted in really well. Uh, he's certainly uh, connected with it with the players off off the field. He seems to be enjoying the camp and uh, he's training well. So. It reminds me of when, when Darcy Graham came out of the squad a year ago and a, a young player just brings that little bit of energy and that fearlessness that, that they have um, and, it, and it adds to, to who's already here in this cra uh, camp. Yeah, it's just fit to play this weekend. So um, he's lucky he's getting a day off training today. So it'll be even fresher. Uh, yeah, but, um, the training sessions will be going on uh, during today. So uh, Jamie Ritchie was the only one that was um, uh, managed yesterday, but he... He, uh, I've been watching a little bit of it and he's he's been taking part in the non-contact area so he's on that return to play uh, so everybody that's here um, has been training um, almost fully uh, just the exception of Jamie uh, Alex Craig stayed with his club this week um, he was just recovering from a, a calf niggle but we, we've we heard from the club that he should be um, available to, to train fully and play this weekend you know, for me, I'm in a very privileged position um, to be given an opportunity to lead uh, my country, uh, and I've enjoyed the challenges. I think the the thing for me is that it's not going to really change the way that I play. I want to go out there and express myself and, and make sure I'm doing my job for the team. Um, but it also comes with added responsibility of making sure that everyone in the camp is in a, in a very good place. So, as I say, every, everything for me, I'm learning on the job. I'm always looking to, to better myself, to better the team. Um, but I'm excited. It's a very, very exciting opportunity and one that I fully intend to make the most of.